Chaga, yeah. Ciao. Hi, ciao, dear old Espresso TV freaks. We are now here at San Remo near Treviso and may I introduce you Andrea? Hey. Hi everyone, I'm Andrea from uh, R&D department and the Sonic department. I'm also with Alessandro from sales in yeah. after sales. Yeah, and yeah, sales yeah. Department. Cool. So, Alessandro and Andrea. So, and so now what we do with research and development, we always discuss what uh, customers want, what they don't want. Yeah. And uh, because we want to improve and yeah. improvement means change. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and so uh, this one is the new version of the U. Yeah. I'm generally very, very happy with the U, but uh, we, uh, you did some improvements. Yeah. And yeah, yeah so we, now... We collect a lot of feedbacks from the market. Uh, people are really happy about the U, but we know to improve the navigation, the use of the machine, small changes that create a uh, more um, yeah. comfortable yeah. feedback uh, Felix with the machine. Yeah. So Andrea, we start with the display, huh? Yeah. Uh, so uh, collecting information from the field, uh, we uh, decide to. This is the standard on page, but yes. we uh, add the second page over there where we can see uh, the ML of the last extraction, the last uh, um, function used right now yeah. is the puddle, the short time. Oh, wow. And this is a shortcut for the last extraction graph. I show you, for example, and we, can, we can pull an extraction yeah. over there. Uh, we are using the puddle right now. Yeah. We can increase the pressure as user, then stops. Stops. Again, we can press the home and we can see the volume. Uh, the last dose use, the shot time, yes. and here a shot with the graph, with the shot time, the volume, and the flow, as, yeah. as the previous one. And as we speak in English, and yeah. the display is now in German, yeah, it's for good for me, but yeah. maybe bad for the others. <laughs> so can you show me where to change the language? Yeah. So we go to the, the house, simple, yeah, yeah. First one, in English. Yeah, and so, Ready check, yeah. And so now we, we see everything in English, so it's really super easy. So here we can see the function used or the name of the recipe. Yeah. Uh, the, a shortcut for the last extraction graph the, of the pressure and the flow. This is the flow in blue and this is the, uh, the pressure in white. The shot time and the volume. And with the lever, you can pull a shot. You can taste the coffee and after a while you can decide to save the profile. Yes, so and I you can. switch here at the arrows, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And to see the flow and to see the pressure. Yeah. Okay, and super. After a while you can taste the coffee, say, this, this uh, extraction is very good for me. Now you can press this icon and now you can save after a while your liver profile, okay? And then you can upload the recipe in the liver, for example, on this one. And now you can see the volume. Tap on the value, you can see the liver profile, uh, pressure profiling, and then change the name according to your request. Yeah, whatsoever. You can call it Marcus or yeah. uh, uh, Canif yeah, or, or Canifora Speciale yeah, or whatever. Or, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then stay on yeah. this page. Um, right now, if I tap on the arrow, I can quickly upload the recipe like yes. before. And, but if I tap directly on the name, I can change directly. Uh, see directly the, the pressure profiling graph and can see and change directly the values and change the name. So, yeah. so simple way to improve the navigation and the use of the product. This is nice. Then before uh, this was not available. No, you have to go on this mm. part and tap on this icon. Yeah. But it well, takes a while. And uh, or tap on this one to change the recipe. So it's a simple um, way to cool. improve the navigation. Now my next question. Yeah. In case a customer still has the old version, yeah. is it possible for him to update to the new version? 100%. On the left side of the machine, we have a USB thumb drive. Okay. Easy accessible from external part. So here somewhere is the USB the port. USB is over there. Here. It's accessible yeah. from external yeah. part. Simply, we send the file. The user place the, the the two files, one for the display and one for the power board. Oh, cool! Press the USB, turn on the machine, automatically upload <laughs> uh, the firmware. So it's very very easy. Also, you have a machine of two years ago. For example, you can upload the machine with the last new version. Okay, okay. But the improvements are not finished. 
Uh, yeah. Wow. Best, okay. Uh, some Next features. one. Next one. Next one. And cool. the paddle. Uh, yeah. I don't know if some people know. Um, in the paddle calibration, you can't um, paddle setting. You can select if the paddle has to work from left to right or, um, or right to left. Ah, like if you have a left-handed uh, yeah, person, you can then icon. So now the paddle works in the rest way. Ah, for that's people cool! With wow. Left hand or left, um, right hand. But also, many people like to use the paddle because want to use like a switch or not. Yes. And for example, you want to perform a maximum at nine bar. So we decide in paddle setting. Uh, we can see over there. Below, my paddle max pressure. So oh, right now we can yeah. limit and allow the system to work. Oh yeah. Default nine bar, but we yeah. can drop down to um, six bar. Oh cool. Example, seven bar. So the maximum value we achieve when the, uh, we use the paddle is seven bar. Or off. Or people want to play with twelve bar, like lever machine. Yeah. No matter. We can go uh, in the. The menu of paddle setting, we can increase up to 12 bar, like the original one. So the people want to play, use the paddle like a switch to perform mm. a nine bar flat classical pressure profile, can do using these features. So yeah, now you can see the set point is up to 12 bar. Here you see the pressure, yeah. yeah. Now we have no back pressure. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, sure. But the set point reach mm. 12 bar yeah. okay, at the maximum value. So from this point of view, it's very, very flexible. So it allows you to play from left to right or reverse and limit uh, the value of the paddle in terms of maximum pressure. Okay. And uh, over there, we have also integrated, as you can see from this icon, uh, the Wi-Fi application. Uh, yeah. Uh, because many people are asking to integrate this feature. Yes. And finally, from November of last year, every U is equipped with the Wi-Fi module, and right now we will be possible to uh, enable this function. Okay. And uh, yeah, what to do? Uh, what people do who do not have the uh, version with the Wi-Fi module? With Wi-Fi, we simply request us uh, the kit. It's a simple yeah. cable and the Wi-Fi module. Hmm. And we can send the kit. Okay. And it's not so difficult to absolutely, replace. Absolutely. And um, it's here in the back of the machine. It's placed on the back. It's okay. Inside the machine, okay. so you can't see the module from the outside. And uh, you need to work with the new firmware. Yeah. And when the uh, Wi-Fi module is connected to the router of your home, for example, uh, automatically download the firmware by itself. It is over the air. Okay. So nice. It nice. Will be very very easy. And also, the touch is brand new. Yeah. You can recognize the old touch from the new one. Yeah. The new text is dark gray. Yeah. And the previous one was light gray. So okay. It has very high sensitivity. You can mm. navigate and scroll over the function better than in the past. Okay. And about the uh, Wi Fi application, uh, here you can see the Wi Fi part. We have, you can enable or disable the module. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Over there, Wi Fi now is enabled. We have a switch to enable or disable the Wi-Fi, uh, the Wi-Fi according to your request. And now I'm connecting using my mobile directly to the module. So this version is uh, like uh, we take uh, experience from the Cube, like yeah. home um, home use. So the application is quite easy to use. Okay. Can we just uh, yeah, show? Yeah, show you. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So ah, cool. It's, it's uh, cube style. So here we can see we can change uh, the pressure of the steam. Uh, we can uh, change uh, the brew temperature over there. Yeah. It's in Italia right now because we are integrated the translation. And like before, uh, then over there we can have the counters. Uh, we can uh, remotely switch off the machine or on. Oh, nice. That's really nice. And we keep uh, gray the screen to save energy. Yeah, yeah. And then for the programmation of the scheduler, here we can enable the scheduler. We have six different uh, time schedule we can program. Yeah. Uh, and we can set the start, the stop time. Mm -hmm. uh, we can set the day we want to apply this, uh, this timing. And uh, also we can select to keep all the machine in off 
or yeah. place the machine in eco mode. So reduce temperature okay, to okay. have the machine ready to be used. Uh, wow. And That's nice. And then we can see uh, the list of counter alarms, the counters, and the basic user setting for the uh, the, the pressure of the steam boiler, yeah. the temps of the group heads, and the brew boiler, and uh, the name of the machine you can yeah. see on on the on the home page. So it's very uh, very quite simple app for the first uh, use. That's enough, that's enough. And then we will include yeah, yeah. some other features, but mm -hmm. we want to keep in the, our yeah. pocket. Definitely. Yeah, maybe about the machine itself. Uh, it's a dual boiler. It's a dual boiler. Uh, all the boilers are made in stainless steel. Yes. 360, 16, so it's very high quality uh, components. Some of the components are taken from the F15 uh, commercial machines. Yeah. The operating boiler from the cafe racer, the volumetric uh, uh, flow meter is from the uh, racer so yeah. many components are taken from the combustion machine yeah. so it's our choice to make cool. a very cool strong machine also for home use yeah. and yeah now we come to the noise for the noise of the fan oh, yes uh, this we, one here is the fan we are here fan. And uh, we we had some uh, the manufacturer is soon on yeah and we had some 12 volt and 24 volt yeah, issue. Uh, yeah. Andrea, could you please explain a little bit uh, to for for my um, uh, how, how to say I found um, uh, noise a little bit loud. Yeah. Uh, Too loud. Especially in um, in quiet kitchen, quiet yeah. environment, you can perceive uh, the, the the air pressure of the fan. And yeah. The problem is not that the fan supplied the wrong voltage because uh, you can see Show me. inside the wiring the fan is 12 volts, but inside the wiring we have a limiting uh, register. Yeah, you can see inside. So this limit the the voltage across the the, the fan. That's a resistance, the right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Is a 330 ohm. Okay. And we can supply properly the fan at 12 volts. Yeah. From the 24. So okay. the noise is not um, uh, higher due to a wrong power supply. It's simply the air pressure inside the system. Yeah. It's cooling the system because the capability of this cooling fan is very high. It's the same we are using in our cafe racer. So it's very uh, powerful cooling fan. That's the, the reason why we can perceive the air inside the system. By the way, we are taking care about our customer and we are still working to find a different solution to supply in a different way the cooling the fan. Not at 12 volts, but probably reduce voltage, 10 volts, 9 volts, different working time. Yeah. And then fixing the cooling fan, not directly using two screws, but, but placing a, a rubber, rubber to reduce yeah. the transmission of the vibration from the cooling fan to the mechanical. Can we move a little bit the machine? Yeah, you sure. Think it's, we we uh, can simply possible. rotate this one. Because here is the electric part and uh, yeah. a main board should live a little bit longer than two years, so uh, more than the warranty. And you see here is, for example, the yeah. main board. Yeah. And uh, the idea is to place, uh, so the, the fan is taking fresh air from the bottom and place it and put fresh air inside the electronic parts. The idea is to place a bumper in between the fixing bracket and the fan to reduce the mechanical vibration generated by the fan uh, due to the rotation of the yeah. bumper. But in the meantime, we have to accommodate a very key point. We, we keep cool down the temperature of the electronic board, the switching power supply, and the wood system. That's yeah. the reason why we decided to use a very strong fan, but probably too strong for some people. Yes, exactly. So, <laughs> we are trying to create uh, the right combination between cool. uh, the cooling capability and the noise you can perceive from Wonderful, the wonderful. With the new firma we are integrating and developing, we are also integrated uh, the different management for the fan. Yeah. And then we integrate the bumpers uh, to fix in yeah. the fan on the mechanical point. And probably we supply the fan uh, at 10 volts, 9 volts. We are still making temperature yeah. measure. Cool. And yeah. also, uh, as the machine is also a piece of the design, yeah. optical appearance is important. Yeah. I personally prefer the black version. And with the black version before, uh, here the chassis was uh, brown. Yeah. And now it's black. 
all black, black cool. and white, and and then many people are asking for uh -huh. different color, different combination. You know, uh, the machine improve the the, the idea of customize. Yeah. Okay, we have the bumpers. Yeah, yeah, easy, easy. And now you see also this part here is now completely black. Yeah, uh, for the white version we have yeah. also this part in white. Yeah, uh, that's also, nice, yeah. Uh, to create a very more homogeneous, yeah. let me say, aesthetic point of view. Nice. And then we improve some side internal mm. uh, part for the technician, uh, some more information on the technical menu. Yeah. And small details, <laughs> just, just to make the life easier also for the technician. Cool. And that's it. Uh, we are still have a lot of ideas to integrate and on this machine. Last but not least, yeah. some said something about the drip tray. Yeah. They were not so happy about yeah. the length of the drip yeah. tray. Uh, we know. Uh, we already made some prototypes of the drip tray longer of 15, 20 millimeters. Uh, this is the right combination to avoid to change too much mm. components on the machine. We are still evaluating some prototypes in our lab and we are going to, by the end of the year, we suppose, to finalize, introduce the, yeah. the new Jeep tray. So, yeah. Okay, uh, that's cool. Also, for people with the old EU, yeah. they can exchange the it can tray. A retrofit to the other okay. versions. It's very so easy. Guys who have the old let's say uh, the the current version or uh, they do not need to be afraid everything is replaceable yeah yeah oh uh, mm. last but not least yeah <laughs> now we uh, go also in this part uh, yes. we go in system info we can see a qr code over there if you scan this qr code you can access to our uh, web platform where we, we will upload some tutorials, videos, how to use the machine, how to make the cleaning, uh, and also some videos from our SWAT team, uh, oh. US, from Australia, okay. which, which uh, they are using the U, they are very happy, and they, so they, they decide to place some videos just to help the, the users okay. to use all the functions yeah. of the machine and to improve the usability. But of course only useful videos. Okay. Only useful and, video. uh, so. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, Andrea, I think that's it, okay. For now, that's yeah. it. For now, that's it. <laughs> okay, grazie mille for <laughs> the introduction. Okay, yeah. ciao. Ciao.